Hey, what's going on, everybody? Joe Howe here once again with another vid. Uh, this time I used a program called DrawPal, in which you can actually hold sessions with people online and y'all can actually work on the same picture together. And I've been sending uh, some messages out to people asking if they wanted to. Uh, have a session together but uh no looks so far i've had a couple of people download it but uh nothing's been worked on as of yet so i guess i'll talk about the first picture i did on here which was uh a model by the name of sophie knight found her on pinterest and decided to try it out with this picture here and the first thing i noticed was the brush effects so this is a free program I like to point that out um, you can go to drawpile.net and get it for free uh, at first I had the 2.0 5.1 setup and uh, I, I painted the picture on that setup so our update and I just now getting it's now getting the 2.1.13 setup which also has a record function where you can record the process inside the program so it is pretty neat whereas um, Photoshop so far does not have that it has a way to record your strokes to repeat the strokes on the screen but as far as recording the whole process in which you uh, start to finish and you can export the file to a, a video on YouTube not yet so uh, the brushes again they are uh, in draw pal I start with draw pal in draw pal when you mess with your opacity settings they still cover up the uh, color you're you are using are either completely cover up the layer that you're on top of and you can go back and forth with the stroke and it doesn't it eventually reaches 100% opacity instead of having that clearish uh, effect to it where you can see through it so with Photoshop once you let's say you go to like 20% opacity and you uh, eye drop it it'll it'll stay at that color so uh, that was one issue I had with it but it does um, keep your skills tight though as it doesn't quite have the uh, smoothness, smoothness or hardness abilities as the uh, Photoshop programs do it still looks sort of rough and uh, I couldn't find a way to make the brush smooth at the end, smooth and transparent. The brush options sort of consistent on here, which is, is really hard to uh, let the program do the work for you, which I appreciate actually. So uh, it really tests you out as far as where you can the layer colors at uh, in any illustration you decide to do. And what else was an issue? Using the uh, Wacom tablet I had, uh, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, the same as Photoshop. It had a little bit of uh, sens sensitivity on it as far as uh, brush pressure goes, so that worked out well. And uh, as far as how the colors lay on the screen it's a little it's a little chiseled but and it's a little soft on some edges but uh I mean it's not going to be perfect it's a free program and it's not going to be as uh, smooth as uh, Photoshop would be because Photoshop has uh, like a lot more tools brush wise obviously uh, the price photoshops it so 
I think my overall opinion is really good for starters who's trying to get into digital painting and it's really going to help you use your eyes as far as uh, trying to see where those paintings uh, the color of, of your painting lies um, on the canvas so uh, you really have to take your time and pay attention to where you're going to lay those and you have to choose what color you're going to use uh, I did have a few settings as you can see on the bottom right of the screen where the uh, got your transitional square and circle and the other options above that is just uh, color palettes and squares so uh, yeah that's about it really and uh, I think about the uh, opacity settings and drawing over an area that already has color in it it's uh what I want to say it's It really takes you out. I guess that's all I had to say about it. Really. Uh, you can't like blend as well as you can in Photoshop using uh, opacity settings. And I had it like, oh, I'll, one thing I really got to bring out is the uh, if I had it at one or two percent opacity, it'll leave these artifacts where uh, it'll look like eight bit. Like you playing an 8-bit video game, it looks like one of those um, squares, this like, bright color that you painted over, and they won't go away as long as you're on one or two percent SD. And you, would, I would either have to increase the size of my brush, and or uh, increase the opacity to like 10 or 15 to make those uh, artifacts go away. So. Uh, there was another issue I had. But other than that, uh, you just gotta find ways to make it work out and uh, tighten up your skills a little bit. And so that's about all I had to say about this program here. I'll be painting a lot more pictures with it just to take a break from Photoshop. So I uh, expect that in the future. Uh, but now I have to uh, paint this picture for a woman. I'll be using some actual mediums this time with some oils or uh, acrylics. I haven't decided yet. But uh, I'll post it up later. And uh, other than that, uh, y'all try draw pile out. And uh, I think you can post your picture on their site. So I'll be trying to do that as well. And uh, let me know what y'all think about the process I used and how it looks compared to the actual picture. And leave comments, a like, and possibly a subscribe. And uh, hopefully I can get more of these done and show, show y'all what I like to do. So, Anyways, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching the vid. The vid. <laughs> and uh, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.